there, miss. I'm gonna give this series a three episode test, see how it goes. It has an okay start so far, but it can easily go downhill from here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is somewhat of a, uh, no, pretty much actually, a sequel to Chaos Head. Chaos Head was uh, made in 2009, 2008, somewhere around there, and it was made by Studio Madhouse, the worst anime Madhouse has ever made. <laughs> a pile of shit. But with this 40, close to really 50 minute first episode, the first 20 or so minutes covered, well, basically recapped the entirety that was Chaos Head. So that really helped. That was good because I did. I really didn't want to rewatch Chaos Head. I really didn't. I don't remember too much about Chaos Head. However, I remember it being a, a total pile of shit. And like when I first started the episode and I saw everything was basically a shot for shot of the first episode, like um, like the first three minutes of, of uh, today's episode, was exactly like the first three minutes of the first episode of Chaos Head. So when I saw that, I was like, nope, nope, I'm done. I'm not going through this shit again, nope. But then that's when people told me on Twitter, they're like, no, Sloan, don't worry. The, the first half of the episode is just a recap for anyone who has not seen Chaos Head, and the later half is Chaos Child, so don't worry. And I'm like, fine. So I uh, actually finished the, the the entirety of the episode. So I didn't just watch Chaos Child, but I also wa watched the recap since it has been a really long time since I've seen it, about like four years or so. So I don't remember too much about it or the situation at hand. I remember the murders and stuff, but I don't really remember the conclusion to it. So we see that in the past, the main character, Taku, he was a crazy shut-in neat. And uh, he like saw things, he didn't remember things, and uh, all these other people knew him. He was just like, what? It seemed that he was involved in other murders, and again, he was like, what? So he really didn't know what was going on, then he eventually realized that he was about to be killed. So later on, people started blaming him for the bizarre murders that people like to call the new gen madness, and he was then later on beat up in the middle of Shibuya, and then we see that the person Person giving him this information about the murders, he uh, his uh, online name he goes by Shogun, turns out to be the future him. And the one girl that he runs into, Rimi, she says that in this world you're not really supposed to exist, but I wanted you to live a normal life. Again, not everything, not everything was explained in this recap, but that's not the job. Every, everything was not supposed to be explained. Like, I noticed that a lot of characters were cut out, which is fine. This is not supposed to be a, like, perfect recap like you see in, you know, anime recap movies. Like, no, that, that, that's not what this is supposed to be. It's supposed to give you some of the important stuff that you will need to carry on to Chaos Child, so I thought that was fine. So even though I didn't get all my questions answered or really remembered what I watched, it, it's still fine. We're moving on to Chaos Child. And in Chaos Child, we have a main character, Takudu. Yes, another Taku. He likes to play detective and goes a bit too far when he breaks into a crime scene with one of his classmates. And he is really getting caught up in the bizarre murders because it looks like it's a repeat from what happened six years ago, which I also forgot to mention. Six years ago, there was a mysterious earthquake. So yeah. And they're noticing that with these bizarre murders and or suicides, there is a sumo sticker behind each of these. So what does that mean? And when uh, Taku broke into the crime scene, he saw this one girl there and you know, this was over at a love hotel. So they were like, oh, okay, so what, what were you doing here? It was it, like, it was her in the room, uh, one cop that was dead and then this one dude that was getting like strangled and then obviously died. So why was she there? We don't really know. She ended up asking the questions in the end and then said to Taku, you're about to be killed. So yeah, it's supposed to be, you know, the big cliffhanger ending, like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen next? But me personally, I'm still wary. This could end up turning out to be like Occultic 9. Of course, I know, I know, I did not finish Occultic 9. I don't think it's bad. I will say that. I, I don't believe Occultic 9 to be bad. However, I just didn't like the execution of the series. It was certainly an interesting one, but I didn't finish it because I did not like its execution. And that could happen once again with Chaos Child. So far, I do like the start, but it could go downhill from here but I'm gonna give it a three episode test. 
Hopefully things will be a-okay. And yeah, if you have played the game, let me know your thoughts on that adaptation. And let me know if you have seen Chaos Head, uh, or if you didn't see Chaos Head, how did you feel about the first 20 minutes of the episode being a recap of Chaos Head? Catch you later as I review Masamune Kun no Revenge and live react to Boku no Hero Academia. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara. Mm -hmm.